you will be traveling with us in spirit because we are going to carry your strength, your energy with us and it is going to take us to Thimpu safely, soundly and without much pain. Monks performed prayers for the safety and well-being of the seven walkers and at precisely 8.30 a.m. the team was given an emotional flag off by thousands of supporters. After nearly five months of preparation, the walkers were now on the road, treading towards the footpaths left mostly overgrown since the arrival of planned modern development. The first fundraising walk in the history of the country was described by the New York Times as an audacious hike for a cause ever conceived. But the walkers soon realized that attempting a task as huge and strenuous as this was easier said than done. Well, uh, the first two days was terrible. It was a test of endurance and sheer perseverance helped me along the way. Otherwise, I almost felt like giving up. Months of practice and I felt so unprepared. But uh, by the third day, things started improving. And now I'm feeling pretty strong. <laughs> to begin with, they had no assistance and helpers. They had to fend for themselves. They pitched their tents. Fetched water, collected firewood. and cooked by themselves. They walked 8 to 10 hours every day, often beyond dusk, and used traditional torches to reach camp at night. The journey took them through thick virgin forests, uninhabited jungles, over treacherous rivers, and across leech and insect infested paths long forgotten. We had to peel off many. <laughs> we have to reckon with more leeches as we go by, so we have to get used to each other. Coexist. Let them have a little bit of our blood as a gesture of token of friendship. They'll be using their trail and path. <laughs> like Rinzi said, you know, <laughs> let them have some more. <laughs> One of the challenges in Bhutan is the terrain. The terrain is very rugged. And more than the terrain is the variation. One moment you're in a sub-tropical situation and, and, uh, and the next few hours you're on top of a high altitude over 13,000 feet. That is the variation and that is the challenge. But that makes, it, makes the route also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just 
Several difficult mountain passes lay in their way, such as the Wong Tong La at 4,000 meters, Xie Tang La at 3,560 meters, Yo Tong La at 3,400 meters, and Pele La at 3,380 meters. These are some of the highest passes in the country. This meant that the team frequently had to endure back-breaking uphill climbs under extreme weather conditions. Often, they were struck by heavy downpour, dampening their clothes and adding weight to their load. But their spirits were not dampened. We started preparation at around 3 in the morning and all of us were very active and were very exhilarated. And in fact, that has, uh, you know, pushed us down till here very nicely. And we know there is uh, uphill, but we are uh, determined and we are undeterred. We are going to make it the same time like yesterday and we'll continue doing so as uh, our Limpo, you know, told you. Throughout the 16-day journey, the health walk team stopped at villages, health centers and schools, explained to the thousands of students and farmers the reason for undertaking the walk. Everyone was called upon to share the spirit of the walk and to contribute to the Health Trust Fund. Even if you all contribute one chatam, one newtam, it's enough. <laughs> 